My name is Michael McKenna. I'm the CEO of Final Pixel. Final Pixel is a global creative studio. We specialize in virtual production for film, TV, and advertising. We also have a training arm called the Final Pixel Academy, which we're here today at Buckinghamshire New University to run our latest course so that they're able to then pass that on to their students and begin training the next generation of virtual production talent. Virtual production is the future of filmmaking. It's really revolutionising how we make content. Over the past couple of years, virtual production has really grown. We've seen um, a number of film and TV shows use virtual production, but more importantly, we're also seeing it bleed through into other industries. So advertising in particular is an area that has grown a lot over the past 12 months. Some of the things that are enabling this are the access to technology. You know, there's more hardware out there, there's more stages popping up. But also, crucially, producers and filmmakers and creatives are really seeing the potential of it and they're seeing how we can really reshape their creative ideas and allow them to do things that they couldn't have done otherwise. My name is Dominic Mayer, I'm one of the stage operators at Final Pixel, so my job role is both technical artist and a stage operator. Typically I handle uh, the machines on set, so I'll be making changes to our Unreal projects, live oftentimes with the director and the DOPs and all the creatives. I often describe it as like software development but live. So typically when you make a piece of software, you, you do it offline. It's a very kind of uh, calm activity. You have a lot of time and uh, you're not under intense pressure, at least not in the moment. When you do virtual production, you have to do many of the same things, but there's a whole group of people around you waiting on you to finish certain tasks. If any single point of our technology doesn't work, everything has to stop. This technology is hugely scalable and portable in the sense that we can bring all that into the studio, set it up in a couple of days and begin teaching people how to use virtual production. You know, an LED wall is like Lego bricks almost. You can put that up in any location, in any studio and then bring it down again once you finish your shoot. And it's this kind of ability to almost sort of pop up stages which allows us to take virtual production to our clients and take virtual production to talent as well. We've been using two Asus Pro Art monitors. In fact, the one that we've been using on set as a reference monitor is the Asus ProArt PA32DC. We found it very, very useful on set because um, it's so important that we have accurate representation of our color. We put a lot of effort into maintaining that color every stage of the process, and if it falls down at the point of the reference monitor, which we're all looking at, it's a huge problem for us. It's OLED, so we can be guaranteed that the lighting that we're seeing is, is great. It presents great um, brightness, very, very good color gamma. The blacks are very black, which is something that you know we've, we've had trouble in the past achieving with, with LED monitors, and the resolution 4K HDR, you know, these are things that are very valuable to us because elsewhere in our colour chain we employ all sorts of technologies to maintain these things as the colour moves through every stage in the production process. You know, we try and aim for a minimum of 10-bit colour, so the Asus Pro Art is great for us in that respect. A monitor like the, the Pro Art, which has auto calibration, is hugely valuable to us. It saves us time and we also have uh, confidence and we're reassured that we're seeing what we should be on the monitor and so is everyone else. We also use the Asus ProArt PA32 UCG. Its peak brightness is really crucial to us when we're doing post-production work. So at 1600 nits, we can actually match or exceed the brightness that our LED wall offers. So that's really, really important for us. There's not many monitors that we can get that from. So in Unreal Project, when we're filming it, we're often filming at 25 frames a sec. During the pre and the post-production process specifically, we're often rendering as high a frame rate as we can possibly get, sometimes all the way up to 120 hertz. So the fact that the Asus ProArt can support that for us is, makes it hugely useful to us as artists and unreal technicians. Asus are moving from the gaming world into now the more art space, from that heritage of gaming motherboards through to now virtual production where we're using game engines to actually produce content on the wall. And I think it's that kind of background in games that brings them the experience and knowledge to be able to produce hardware, which is really useful for us on set. Me and the team are very much looking forward to continuing to work with the Asus Pro Art products. We've been really impressed by what we've seen so far. Um, we're excited to see what new developments they come up with. Thank you.